so I'm heading into Olive Garden and I didn't bring any of the mounts with us. I do have a Starbucks thing that it sticks to really nicely. I think I'm gonna stick that Starbucks thing under my shirt and then have this on the outside of my shirt as I go in. Just to get a little footage, see what type of light transition uh, the camera can deal with. Obviously, I think I need to clean off the lens a little. Looks like there's a little smudge on there. All right, so the camera itself is standing up and down, kind of like I just showed it. If I would have turned it left and right, it would have filled up this entire screen like the first uh, like the first portion of this video was. And I will do that uh, after we get out of here and I go to Starbucks just to test it out. But it's really crisp. Now we have a little back and forth wobble as I'm walking. And the sound that you hear in the background behind my voice, as I was quiet there for a second, is the sound that it's recording. The sound's really crisp. It's a really dim day out. And this did really well with the color. And as you can see, as we get in here, it's transitioning almost flawlessly. Like there was no gradient transition right here. I decided to cut the sound out behind it just because they're playing music. I don't want to get hit for copyright for not owning the rights to the music that Olive Garden is playing. But look at that. You did not see a gradient shading when we entered this building just as well as you will not see it as we walk through here and we go through shaded areas to brighter areas. I'm liking this camera. Uh, we, we will turn on the we'll turn on the image stabilization. Like I said, uh, there is no image stabilization on this shot. That's why we have a little bit of left to right, basically uh, showing me walking. My left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, etc. But uh, as soon as this clips over, I'm going to show you leaving, and we're going to turn on image stabilization. All right, dinner was good. We are leaving now. Again, I got the Starbucks cap under my shirt, and I got this camera over top and uh it's sticking there's no problems with it sticking right now we have uh the image stabilization on which kind of acts like uh gyro stabilization or uh hyper smooth like gopro says and you can see a lot less of the left to right left to right where you're not getting a whole lot of my footsteps in this as you did in the beginning again it's really dark out it's crispy this video is crispy Again, we get to when we get to the car, we're in. Uh, we're gonna go stop at Starbucks before we hit the interstate, and I will turn this so it will fill up the whole screen, and then you could uh, see exactly how crispy it is. Uh, there is a nice, there's a nice Wi-Fi app that is tied to the camera, and it has a nice interface. You could change from 1080p 60 frames per second. You can go lower. You can go higher. There is also a cloudy feature, which probably would have did this a little bit better, but dude, this is super crispy. For it being cloudy out, man, everything is nice detail, nice sharpness, nice definition. Um, I'm I'm really surprised how well this did today. I, I was leery about it because of how dark it was out today. So not as super crispy as the last images, as it's getting considerably darker out, but still good. Uh, again, just wanted to show you a little left to right here. All right, so here's a little super dark, not mounted properly, um, video action on a drone. As you can see, as we're descending, we have a little bit of jello, and then as we stabilize and maintain altitude, we lose that jello. Uh, the mount on here was literally just double sided tape to the drone. Wasn't nothing fancy. There's a little bit of wind. And as you can see, it's doing an okay job with very low lighting. Um, there's not a whole lot of jello in it. Like it's not, it's, it's not unbearable. I definitely could have mounted this a lot better. Uh, but I literally, like I just showed you my day. Um, I did a little crystal picking, ran up to a large city, I went out to eat with my wife, hit Starbucks, hit the interstate, came back home, strapped this on a drone, and bam, it's in the air. I wanted to give this a full evaluation. You can see myself right there. Uh, not a lot of detail on myself because, again, it's not bright out. The, <laughs> the sun has set long ago. Um, the street lights haven't even turned on. If the street lights were on, it might give it just a little bit of light to bounce back. Also, this camera has uh, a light on the front of it that surrounds the lens. If I had that on, I think it might have did uh, a little bit better because I did notice inside my house I was messing around with the app and I turned it on versus it off. And with it on, it definitely maybe gave it a little bit of light to bounce off of and a little bit of a brighter uh, detail and brilliance and whatnot. But guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Stay tuned for a daytime flight with this on a drone later. Just when you thought the video was over, 
you can see my finger at the bottom with my big old hands here this was actually before i did any of this so this was the first clip that i did um before we even hit the interstate or whatever this is just me kind of creeping on cars at the gas station while my wife ran in to grab a few things just testing it out i dude all in all i absolutely love this and again if we turn it sideways and don't have it standing up and down it will fill the screen and i'm more aware to that now i wasn't super aware to it as i was recording the first couple clips and whatnot but then when i got home and i looked at the footage i'm like hmm then i went into the app and i turned it sideways and it auto rotated it and it will fill the entire screen instead of having this up and down look right here but again, you can see there's no sun out. It's super cloudy. And this is being recorded through my windshield, which is dirty. <laughs> my windshield is nothing to brag about. And I think it did pretty good. Again, subscribe, hit the like button, comments down below. I get at you.